Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Space Flight Simulator video. Today we are going to be launching a space shuttle, um, which this is almost the final design. Honestly, I will admit it looks really ugly. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be launching a space shuttle to orbit with four satellites. Why are we doing this? Um, because I can. Also because it's quite fun to do and space shuttles are one of the most difficult vehicles to build. So yeah, this space shuttle here should be ready for launch soon. As soon as I add this RCS here, this will just make it easier for the satellites to leave the payload bay eventually and... Oh wait, I made a mistake. You see those two little engines on the orbiter bit? So it turns out those can't actually lift the vehicle. And because it's offset thrust, if I don't add the giant one there, uh, then it won't lift, basically. So, yeah, that's a little problem there. So now we're adding that giant engine there, and that little parachute that's hidden there. Uh, I completely forgot it was there, honestly. As in, like, uh, I will not use it at all during the entire video, because I forgot it was there. So, yeah. So right now we're just building a structural part out. This is purely aesthetic, but it also connects the solar panel, which, as many people know in the game, is indestructible. Because the solar panels are indestructible when they are launched. Well, well, when they're not deployed, they're indestructible. So yeah, I'm just going to move that solar panel up. Nice. It's starting to look really ugly. However, there we go. Much better. How does it look now? What do you think? Leave your, leave your ideas down in the comment section below. Now, yes, I forgot to attach the last pa uh, solar panel. And also the side thing won't detach. So, there, we'll attach that last solar panel now. Almost attached. And add a little structural piece now. And we are good for our final liftoff of this rocket. Finally. And yeah, we have liftoff of Space Shuttle. Hey, hey, come over here. What should we name the Space Shuttle? Kind of looks like this. I mean, you know, it's not that pretty. Uh, it has a big orange shield tank. Lovely black heat shield. What should we call it? Uh, weird orange thing. Okay, so lift off of the weird orange thing. Currently going through 12 kilometers, 13 kilometers, 14 kilometers, 15 kilometers, 16 kilometers. 17 kilometers, 18 kilometers, 19 kilometers, 20 kilometers, 21 kilometers, 22 kilometers. This is ridiculous. Anyway, we're going to get into a nice stable 100 kilometer orbit. Is that too much to ask of? Nah. So we are now passing through 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 40. And 100 kilometer apoapsis. We are going up ridiculously quickly. This is a video that's sped up to two times speed. And we are now going to transfer the fuel that's in that booster stage uh, into the main orbiter. And then we can detach it and use those handy little wheels to help. So yeah, we are at 100 kilometers and circularizing now. Uh, the RCS is actually helping a lot, just because. Um, and yeah, we're getting into an orbit. This actually took a lot more time than it shows because this is sped up to two times speed, like I literally just said. But yeah, this rocket here is pretty easy to build and I hope you find it easy to build too. I'll put the blueprint in the description. And we are almost in orbit. We are at 98.9 kilometers in altitude and going back up, we're gonna get our apoapsis all the way back up to 100 kilometers. And yeah, we're in orbit. And apoapsis is at 100 kilometers. Sweet. Cool. So we're almost in a perfectly circular orbit. I don't know why I keep on saying we, because you're not actually doing anything. Sorry, random viewer, but you're not really doing anything. Really, sorry. Um, See, so yeah, I just got into orbit here. We're deploying our first satellite. Um, we have four of them here, as you can probably see. Um, unfortunately, we can't just detach one of them at a time. We have to detach the first two at the same time. So here we are, just trying to get that out of the payload bay. And yeah. And next comes the second satellite, which we're getting out. As you can also see, we're transferring fuel from the heat shield to those side tanks there, to the main fuel tank, just because it gives us a little extra fuel. 
So yeah. And yeah, just transferring the fuel over and deploying our third satellite at the same time. It's hard to do two things at once. I could time warp and then deploy one, but I'm lazy. And this is just to prove it works. If you actually want to give it the time to do any of this stuff, then you can. But I used to bother, but now I just, I, I don't, I just can't be bothered. So yeah, successful landing, well I guess not landing, but successful deploying of the satellites. And yeah, De uh, deploying all those, pa um, deploying all of those uh, solar panels. Then moving ourselves just a little bit out of the way. So we're about to light our engine, I believe. And it's, it's at this point that I realise that the map view doesn't work anymore. So I have to land completely without the map view. Hooray! I'm not sure if this is a bug or just my own not caringness, but it's really annoying. So Steph, if you can fix it, please do. And if you can't, then I'll just figure something out or just deal with it. But it only ever happens with this one craft for some reason. Like, it's never happened with many others. So I don't know what's happening here, but as soon as I click follow, sometimes it just disappears. See, anyway, here we are, 15 kilometers into the atmosphere, burning our engines to slow our styles down even more. Um, I didn't do the most graceful landing, but it's a pretty good one in my books. But then again, it actually is not that great compared to my Falcon 9 landing or my Mars landing. But at least I didn't blow anything up this time. So at least there's a bit of improvement. Um, yeah, burning our engines because we want to be facing, you know, the way we're going to land. Um, the game just crashed there, so I had to reload it, which is why the camera angle is different. And yeah, and now, and only now do I realise that I didn't transfer the fuel out of half of the fuel tanks where I have spare. So I'm actually being really inefficient here. Because if you can see, I have one there, well, one uh, just next to the first landing gear. I've, and then I have um, solar panels in the other three. Oh, one of which being on the tail. I deployed those parachutes there just now because I can't be bothered to properly land this thing on my own. So yeah, that's what proves how lazy I am. And yeah, cutting that parachute there. We're a bit tail heavy now. I shouldn't have cut that parachute. I should have left it the way it is. And I ran out of fuel. Hooray. But touchdown of the space shuttle weird orange thing. Thank you so much, by the way. The person that intervened was my dear friend over at Crazy Minecraft. But without further ado, thank you all very much for watching. Have a lovely day. Subscribe, like. And until next time, see you later. In the next video, my Saturn 12 rocket gets flight proven.